Hi guys, now I'm sure that a lot of you have seen floating around on the internet there is this bottle cap challenge where essentially what you do is you get a bottle and you kick it, so you kick the lid with just the right amount of precision that the lid spins round and spins off the bottle like that. So you're essentially kicking the lid off of the bottle with like super accuracy. I was going to try this challenge but I thought with sort of maths and science and stuff like that we try and figure out how to give ourselves the best chance of being able to do this bottle cap challenge um, so we're going to try and figure out what is the best way to do this bottle cap challenge and first of all we need a bottle ta-da we have a bottle I'm going to pull this label off though because we don't want no product placement I need two hands because I'd hate for you guys to see that I'm using Asda brand lemonade. Done! So let's think about where we're going to position this here bottle. Like, how high are we going to put it? Do we put it like, so the bottom of the bottle is sort of hip height? Or what? See, I'm thinking that we put the lid so it's about the height of my hip. Because when you kick, that's about where your leg's going to go. Right? That makes sense. I think it makes sense. So, we need to find something where the bottle lid is at hip height. Yeah, that's the first step. Another thing we need to work out is how far away from the actual bottle that we need to stand. Because it needs to be the perfect distance. You don't want to be too far away because then you'll just miss the bottle, you'll be kicking thin air. So we need to measure, um, we need to measure the distance from my hip to my foot. See how long that is. So, we're gonna say about, about, wait, three feet. It's three feet between my feet on my hip. So knowing that, we know that we need to be stood about three feet away from the bottle. So we need to be three feet away from the bottle, the bottle lid needs to be at hip height for optimum kicking purposes. Yes, I'm feeling good about this. Something else that we need to take into consideration is what is on our actual feet when we kick. I mean, if you're wearing just sort of socks or you're doing it barefoot, you sort of, you have an intuition of where your foot ends. You know sort of the distance between, like, you know how far you can kick, really. But, perhaps, using a shoe will be better. Wearing a shoe to kick will be better because it's got more of like a, a rubbery sort of grip. So, for one, you're more likely to sort of get a grip on the bottle lid when you kick it. Um, and two, there's not as much flex to a shoe, whereas if you're kicking with your foot, your foot's sort of got a lot bent to it, there's a lot of movement. So if you wear a shoe, you're cutting out that variable of your foot being able to bend. I mean, I know it can go like this, it can bend sort of up and down like that, but it's minimising that variable. So we want to be three feet away from the bottle, wearing shoes, the bottle has got to be at hip height, or the lid anyway. Next, we need to consider, we need some weight in this bottle. Mainly because it's a little bit windy outside and I don't want the bottle to blow over. And, we're going to loosen the lid a little bit. I'm not entirely sure, in fact I'm fairly sure that everyone loosens the lid a little bit during the bottle cap challenge. Because, I mean, you, there's no way that you're going to kick it off when it's tight. So, we're going to loosen it. I'm going to drink this little bit of lemonade because I'm thirsty. And then we're going to fill it up a little bit with water, loosen the lid, and then we're going to try it. I think we've, we've done enough measurements and thinking. I think we've got a good chance of doing this bottle cap challenge. Yes. So I'm outside now. I've got the bottle. I've filled it up like, I don't know, like a third, just over a third full of water. Uh, I've loosened the cap off. It's not like... like that's tight, that's the point where it won't turn anymore. So it's loosened off just a bit. 
So yeah, also I've put it on this table here because the bottle lid comes up to just just about where my hip is, so this, this is perfect. So we also must remember that we need to be three feet away from where the bottle is going to be. So here's three feet. I put my foot right there. Wait, there. That is perfectly three feet. Three feet away from where the bottle is going to be. Yes, I think, I think we're ready. So here goes, we've figured out everything correctly, we've done all the measurements. Uh, we know that we need to be three feet back. We know that the bottle has to be about hip height for me, so that I can kick it right. Um, I've got my shoes on, so we get good grip on the bottle cap, which is just sort of a little bit loose. It's loose enough to kick off. So without further ado, let's do this. I have no idea how you do this challenge. I just wanted to kick a bottle. And with that being said, I'm going to get gone. So I'll see you guys next time.